It's a fire crisis in the American West. After 10 years of drought and one of the driest winters that we've seen in the last century, we've had an early, serious, and punishing fire season in Colorado, Arizona, and California. And it's only June. As we get into the summer and then the fall Santa Ana season, we're really in for it this year. We're really going to have to mobilize every possible resource looking forward to the summer and fall. We have to get ahead of this thing before it gets on top of us. Fire is a reality in the West. It's serious, it's dangerous, it's destructive, and it's deadly. The situation is dire. It's time really to pull out all the stops. And one good example is that BE-200, long range, high duration, high volume water dropping aircraft. Hi, I'm John Savage. I was fortunate to be part of a group who got a tour of the barrier of BE-200 when it landed in the California Central Coast at the Santa Maria Airport in the spring of 2010. We got to meet with manufacturer's representatives and their American business partner, flight test pilots, and flight engineers with their specialized ground personnel. They came to introduce the plane to the American officials and to give us the first glimpse of this amazing firefighting aircraft. The advantage of a large air tanker such as the BE-200 is that the aircraft flies at 400 miles per hour and can scoop and drop water for two and a half hours on one tank of gas. With its 3,000 gallon capacity scooped up in 18 seconds, the BE-200 can scoop from numerous bodies of water and the Pacific Ocean. It delivers up to 50,000 gallons of water an hour on a fire, making it extremely fast and cost effective. It can also be ground loaded with long term retardant. The firefighting process is a war with fires. The very important issue is how soon you can scoop the water and uh, deliver it to the fire spot. The aircraft should be really attacking the fire and be as maneuverable as the attack plane. Wildfires are a global problem. This plane has been certified in 27 countries by the European Aviation Safety Agency and is now undergoing FAA certification in the U.S. with financial assistance from the Russian government. We love our country. The Americans love their country. And uh, all together, this creates the world. And we should unite together to save this world. And I'm confident that this will happen. The goal is to have 10 of these aircraft sitting here in Santa Maria, home base, maintenance, training, parts, manuals, certifications that can be fed out to the existing fire aircraft operators to give them new tools. The BE-200 is needed now to fight the wildfires that threaten the lives of millions of Americans that are living in the wild land and urban interface. As we look at our environment and the isolated nature of the canyon, we are definitely in a high-risk area for wildfires. We need protection, and the kind of protection we need must come from the sky. We need these giant water-dropping airplanes. If they have them in countries across Europe, why don't we have them here? We need them here. Now! Yeah, now. Responding to a wildfire emergency with an initial attack, powerful twin jet, 3,000 gallon capacity, BE-200 aircraft is essential. This plane is capable of repeatedly scooping and dropping on the head of wildfires, knocking them down when they are small before they burn out of control.